Hanging out with Sam at the Electric Bike Center. I love the shades, man. Oh, thanks. That is the perfect complement to this thing. This is the Sieve 800 from SSR Motorsports. I mean, this is just, it's crazy. Like I saw the screenshots of it on their website and then seeing it and riding it in person is just, it's something else. It's something else. It's, it's like kind of like a scooter, but there's no pedals or anything like that. And it's, it's just so minimalist. Like the only thing here is these awesome hydraulic brakes, real sturdy, kind of like, almost like scooter brakes, like you see on a Vespa. Yeah, I equate this to more of like an ATC, like or an ATV. Okay. Uh, those size tires, I, I bet this could go across sand. Oh yeah. I'd love to try to take it out in sand. It reminds me of like the first generation little Honda uh, like a ATC ruckus? 70s. No, I'm going back to oh, like, way the, back. The, like the late 60s, early 70s. Okay. Uh, even the tire pattern looked like the early Hondas had on them. Yeah. If you look at the very first ATCs, that's what they look like. Well, and just to quote, you know, the size of these things, it's 18, that's the diameter, by 9.5, that's like, that's like the width that way, by eight, that's like that way. Um, they're massive, they're massive, they give you a lot of cushion. Riding this thing is pretty cool, because you can sit down on it, or you can stand up, you know, it's like. And I'm really comfy on this, I'm six foot four, I'm not, I'm not pinched up or, crowded at all on this. I'm yeah. very relaxed riding this bike. These are nice and adjustable, so you can kind of angle them. They're just super high rise. Are those like ape hangers almost? They're kind of like an ape hanger, but an ape hanger is usually above your shoulder. Super high, yeah. So these are just appropriate to get them in the right level for you, yeah. Okay, well let's talk specs here. Um, 800 watt, gearless, direct drive, hub motor. You do hear it a little bit, it's kind of a but being gearless, it should be solid. You know, it's, it's not like the most immediate, like super strong torque off the line. It's more of a smooth, steady, fluid feel. Is this a charging port? Yes, I, I took me 20 minutes to find that on the first time I, I got one in. Look at I that. I could not find the charger port. I looked all over the bike before I finally figured that out. It's kind of an interesting location for that. Um, and is the battery below the deck? Yeah, it's all built in. Like right in here is where it starts. It, and and then, we just tip it that way a little bit? And we sure, can maybe... so you can get a really good view of that. Yeah, 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 look at that. You know, I think, I think it might so, be metal. It doesn't get any lower center of gravity than that. That's about as low as you're gonna go as far as the center of gravity goes. And it's so stable. Like, I just got my motorcycle license recently and you know, you have to like push that outside handlebar to kind of get into those turns. And I had that same experience on this thing. Like you ride motorcycles. What do you think, Sam? Well, it's got such a wide profile and then at, right at the, it's so flat. Yeah. And when you go to turn, you're getting off that big flat surface and you're going onto that edge of the tire Oh so <laughs> uh, you've got to really force it down into the turns. But once you get the hang of turning this thing in, uh -huh. I can literally turn this thing and I was scraping the paint on the frame. So I was- Are you serious? Oh my out. gosh, man. So it's so stable feeling when you're riding it. What's the top speed? Oh, that's a good question. I would put this close to 20 miles an hour. It felt 20. Pretty, yeah, 18 to 20, I'd say. This is a review. So some of the things I noticed, I like the little bell. The grips are kind of cool, iconic. They almost match the tire tread. Yeah. Full grip, twist yeah. throttle, and it's active right now. So I want to like deactivate that so it doesn't take off. Yeah. I was maneuvering it earlier, accidentally did that. Uh, nice big brakes, you know, it's got the balls on the end here. I wasn't able to, I, I actually got my calipers out to measure those disc brakes because they didn't have any markers on them. Yeah, thanks, man. Slide it over here a little bit more for you, Bart. There we go, thanks. Just try to get this thing all the way out. It looks like, you know, we're, it's it's going maybe even like for, further than my, my calipers can. I'm gonna guess that these are like Two, 203. 203, yeah, I think you're right, 203s. Um, front and rear, hydraulic, and they've got that kind of V mark. I think this is a, the case where you know, American company, SSR Motorsports, they found something really cool over in Asia and they're importing it, you know, and, and this I is- I saw this product about three years ago at Interbike and I sat on it and when I first originally saw it, I didn't think it was motorized. I had no clue. Oh. And I have a photograph of it. It was white frame with like uh, yeah. copper fenders. Cool. And then I, they, they had introduced it and I'm like, hey, I saw it like three years ago. Hmm. So they found it and just like branded it and, you know, brought it in. But and they do a good job. We, you know, we've seen the Sand Viper, the Trail Viper, 
they're local here. What do you think? Is the company, you know, pretty uh, good job? They're known more for their pit bikes and their scooters. The gas powered stuff. And the CEO, William, actually consulted with me as to when it would be the best time to bring in electric bikes. And I told him, dude, it's now. Bring it's them happening. in. Yeah, it's happening. But I said, bring in something unique and different, you know, than the yeah. rest of the marketplace. They did it. I mean, the, the seat with like the floating design. Um, I like the fenders, you know, it's going to keep the, the mod off of you and stuff. This would be so awesome at Burning Man, a skateboard deck Full, situation. Yeah, grip tape. <laughs> all grip the way tape. Across. And I notice a lot of people that buy these, uh, their family, you know, kind of the dad has it. He'll sit here, and I've seen multiple guys that will carry Junior right huh. up here because you've got plenty of room in here. Dude. I actually sold the very first one of these to my brother in law huh. who's handicapped, and he has to ride around in a, uh, a motorized scooter. I see. You know, but he's like limited to like three, three miles an hour. On this, he can go with my sister on her electric bike and he can kind of keep up and, and it's a little bit faster paced on this. And I, I said, if you don't like it, just give it back to me. Yeah. And he dug it, he loved it. He kept so it. He kept it, yeah. Okay, so other things, you got some reflectors here, not a whole lot, this midnight black one, you know, you might want to have a backpack with a reflector or something. Uh, the battery, we're talking about lithium ion, 48 volt, 20 amp hours. That's that's really big, and I guess it's nice to have that extra size because this is heavy. We were trying to lift it a minute ago. We didn't quite get it off the ground just because yeah. the balance point. We didn't run to wreck the seat. It's at least 100 pounds, probably. Yeah, was, we were in excess of 100 pounds trying to lift it up. So you know, keep that in mind in terms of how you're going to move this and getting the wheels off. You know, it's it's not like a bicycle where there's quick release and stuff. This is more like a vehicle. And uh, I don't know, I, I like that. Let's see, other things to, to call out. So we got the twist throttle, there's the LED indicator. B before you were sitting on it, but I actually stood on it more like a stand-up scooter yeah. and it and it did really well. I was impressed with that. It, it, very linear power delivery with the full grip twist throttle and really nice brakes with the, with the hydraulic brakes. It yeah. stops well, it accelerates well. It takes a little bit of getting used to the handling. I'd, I'd, I'd recommend practicing your V8s in a parking lot. You know? Oh, and that's the thing, yeah, there is kind of a limited that's as far as it goes, right? Like, you know, they, they kind of stop it so that you're not hitting the frame down here. I'm gonna hop on this thing, Sam, or maybe, maybe will you real quick and... Yeah, uh, one other thing else I wanna call out real quick before it is, Yeah. if you get a flat tire on this, you're gonna wanna take it to like a motorcycle store more than oh. likely that does like ATV style. Yeah. Cause your average bike shop is not gonna be able to handle this type of a uh, uh, repair. Let me do a handoff real quick. Can you film me for a second? Sure. Okay. So these are also really cool. Like look at the packaging, really nice, just kind of a, uh, more attention to detail than a generic cardboard box. There's some keys, you get an extra key. It's just the ignition's right up there by the handlebar. Two amp charger, kind of standards. It's what I'm used to seeing for electric bikes and stuff. Um, and that's where your key would plug in, would be right there. Yeah, and then- and you Just turn I'm, it on and off I'm gonna do here. some measurements. It looks like the ground clearance is like three and a half inches or something. You know, reach maybe about 20 inches. The overall length of this thing, in case you're gonna try to park it in your garage. We're at like 69 inches about. That's like a motorcycle or a scooter almost. Yeah, yeah. Seat height, 26 inches. The stand over height, this thing is nothing. I mean, it's super easy to stand over. That's the riding position I was talking about before. Like if it's really bumpy, you can kind of like absorb some bumps with your knees or you can sit down. And the kickstand over on this side, you know, it's just a tiny little thing, but it works pretty well. Yeah, it's just right there. So let's do it, man. Do you want to? hop on this thing and give it some action. Thank I you. I think it's kind of cool for custom people to see you actually getting out your tape measure I know, and right? showing them like what you go through on every review. Like all that tape measure comes out, your magnet comes out. Yeah. Is it metal? Is it aluminum? Yeah. There's a lot to go into and each I one of these I think this one was steel, right? We were... Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, right. we're actually rushing on this one. These are plastic fenders. We're rushing a little bit because someone's actually buying this and they were like, yeah, you can look at it quickly. <laughs> so ten we're, minutes. You we're got trying ten to minutes. be, He's ready to go. so do it, juice uh, it. Before I head out, I want to also mention the colors it comes in. You can get oh, it with yeah. white frame and black fenders, all black or white frame with red fenders. Those are the three color combinations you can get it from, from SSR Motorsports. Sweet. We are you it in Norwalk, California. Norwalk, okay. Yeah, so they're just like 10 minutes away from us. All right, here we go. Cut your way. There you go. Look at that leaning action, dude. That's a cool looking thing. So it's been a while since I've ridden one of these things. It's such a funky feel, isn't it? It is. You really got to really like commit pushing it down into the corner. You have to push with that outer arm. It's really hard, yeah. Do you mind if I hop on real quick? Yeah, give it a spin for it. Okay, we are almost done. This is the guy who's buying it. Do you want to say hi? Hey, what's up? How are you going to use this? Just cruising. 
cruise on the beach. Cruise on the beach. You said you're by Huntington yeah. Beach, right? Newport. Oh, Newport. Oh, yeah, Newport Beach. Nice, man. Thank you again. Yeah, no he got another one of those IMAXs back there for a friend. So, yep, here we go. I'm going to hop on this thing. It's a little bit tricky to kind of maneuver. There we go. Nice and smooth. Yeah, I like the power delivery. It's just real quiet. You do hear the motor a little bit in the back. Can't tell exactly how fast I'm going, but it's zippy. And we aren't, we're kind of at like a low battery state here because uh, he just bought like the showroom demo model that just came in. So yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, I hope this gives you some some fun details, some perspective on this thing. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm stoked. It's neat to see these alternative vehicles coming out, electric power and what you can do with it. Uh, I think that's about it. That's, that's the, uh, and if, hopefully he mentioned the price point. I think it's like $15.99. So that sub $2,000 mark to get something that's more like a vehicle is just, is just cool. You know, we're seeing more of those things. And sometimes you get like those plasticky, uh, scooter type things, but I like that they styled this one a little bit more. You know, it's it's sleek, it's really cool looking. So for the full write up on this, we'll see you back at electricriderview.com. Of course, um, especially with something that's kind of alternative like this, it's like ride safe and you know, good luck uh, parking and everything. Thanks, man. It takes two people to load this thing up. Oh yeah, you guys need a hand? Yeah, we're gonna try to hold it right now. Fender, you don't wanna break it. Whoa, 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 let me get back yeah. Ready, go. There you go, grabbing the, the metal rails. That's it. Off to Newport Beach it goes. Oh yeah. Nice job, guys. Just get some tie downs. Look at that, the kickstand isn't even down and it's balancing yeah, just because of those tires. Yeah, reminds me of uh, the early model um, uh, Badzi had similar Bridgestone tires that were about that width. Huh. And you could step off the Badzi and the bike would, the scooter would just stand there without there. <laughs> falling over. We gotta find you an old Badzi to review one of these days. Court. Did you say the price on that, Sam? Uh, fifteen ninety nine is suggested retail price. Fifteen ninety. That's a pretty good price. It's an awesome price for the for the product, you know, with the amount of range you can get out of it, uh -huh. and just the fun factor of it as well. It is a really fun, you know, machine, and just like see the eight hundred. That's the eight hundred watt motor right there that they're mm -hmm. talking about. So yeah, this is sort of like a class two, you know, with the more powerful motor and stuff. Yep. Well, I think that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. It's always fun to see stuff, but it was like, go, go, go. So as always, ride safe.